Welcome back friends. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this video where the car changes colors uh, every few seconds. Now, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel memberships. I go live every week and I give priority feedback to my YouTube channel members. So don't forget to check it out. Enough of the talk. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to start off this design with a workspace that is 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. And I'm going to place a video on my workspace. This is a video of a road um, where it's moving forward. So I'm going to place this as my background. And I'm just going to double click in there and I'm going to make it a little bit larger because I want um, to have the road more on the right side so I have room for a little bit of text on the left side so I'm just going to try and make this a little bit larger like this all right um, so now I am going to place a car on my workspace and I'm going to remove the background I'm just going to crop out all that empty space. And I'm going to place this car on my road here. And I'm just going to make it a little bit larger so that it looks like it's a little bit more in proportion to the road. Now I'm going to apply an animation to this car. So I'm going to go into animate. And I'm going to select create an animation. And when you customize uh, your own animation, you'll get this B. I'm going to grab my car and just move it to the side. Up and down to the side. Okay, so now it looks like it's kind of moving over bumps. And I'll just say done. I'm going to add a little bit of text to my workspace. And I'm going to bring it right up to the top. And I'm going to change the font to League Spartan. And I'm going to double click in there. And I'm going to write the word red in all caps. And I'm going to make that a little bit larger so that we can actually see it. And I'm going to apply an effect, a shadow effect. I'm going to change the shadow color to black. And I'm going to increase the opaqueness of my shadow and decrease my offset. Now I'm going to add another text box onto my workspace and I'm going to move it over here to the left. And in here, I'm going to write, what will you choose today with a question mark? And I want this left justified and I'm just going to bring that there and increase the font size. And I'm just going to place that right there and move it down a little bit. Now that I'm done my first slide, I'm going to take it and make a copy of my first slide. So, um, but before I do that, I'm just going to change the timing. And I'm going to change this to um, six seconds. And now I'll take, I'll say done. And I'm also going to change the alignment on my red to left alignment. Okay, now that I'm done with my slide, I'm going to make a copy of it. So I'll click my slide. I'm going to make a copy and I'm going to paste it. Okay, this is my second slide now. I'm going to change the color to yellow or the te that text box to yellow because I'm going to change the color of the car to yellow. So I've got my car selected. I'm going to go into edit. I'm going to select adjust. 
And if we scroll down, we're going to see that we have some color choosers here. So what this does is it will change the color of red on the car to any color that you like. So I'm going to select the color red because that's the color I want to change. And I'm going to toggle the hue to yellow. And I'm going to come down here to brightness and I'm going to make it a lot more brighter like that. So now I'm done my second slide. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back and I'm going to take a copy of my second slide and make another slide with it. So this is now slide number three. I'm going to grab my text and this one we're going to change to purple. I'm going to select my car and again I'm going to go into edit, adjust, and I'm going to scroll down. Now we can see that we've already made some changes, but we can just click on that again and change again. So I'm going to change the hue to purple. And I'm just going to bring down the saturation like that. Okay, so now we're done with the purple. I'm going to come back here to the slide. I'm going to take a copy and I'm going to paste. And this is our final slide. Now for our final slide, I'm going to change the color to green. I'm going to select that text box. I'm going to go to edit. And again, I'm going to select adjust. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And I'm going to click that color editor. And I'm going to bring the hue all the way up to green. And again, if you want to adjust the saturation, you could do that as well. I'm going to leave it right there. So now that we're done changing the colors of our cars, we need to add that transition in between that's going to transition the, the colors to, to different shades as we're moving through the slides. So I'm going to click this little D in between my slides. I'm going to come to match and move. And um, we're going to toggle the duration. So we're going to make it um, maybe 1.7 seconds like that. And you'll notice that your slides will receive a little bit of an adjustment. We're going to say apply between all pages. And now all of my pages will, will be adjusted. So let's close this and let's come back and let's just take a look and see what that looks like. Now you'll notice that as my colors are changing, also that text is transitioning. And I'm really not a fan of that text transitioning, so we're going to change that. So we're going to come back to our first slide. We're going to click on our text box and we're going to uh, either, you can either right click or you can click on those three dots and you can say show timing. And what that will do is it will show you the timing of each. Uh, element um, in your workspace. Now you'll notice that it transitions into the second slide. I don't want it to do that so I'm just going to decrease it like that. I'll click on my second slide and the word again and we'll notice that uh, the word is transitioning between slide one and slide three. So we're going to adjust that. We're going to do the same for number three. and slide number four. All right, so now let's go back and to the beginning and let's play and see how that works. So what do you think? Is this a yay or a nay? Let me know in the comments and I hope that you learned something in this tutorial. For now, I will say bye bye and don't forget to check out my YouTube memberships. Bye for now.